Hey guys, and welcome back to Crow Country. When we last left off, we were finishing uh, all of the secrets that we could currently get. We have now done that, and it's time to explore. I have uh, run round, and I have completed the challenge to get all of the crystal crows, and that unlocked something a little bit interesting. However, um, it is something that probably... Uh, we don't want to be using just yet. But I shall show you. You know what? It's not really that big of a spoiler to just say now. I mean, it unlocks another costume. Uh, so Mara is in a fancy black dress. But she also has... Oh, hello, friend. She also has a... Uh, like laser gun that seems to have unlimited ammo. I haven't actually used this laser gun on an enemy yet So I'm not a hundred percent sure how effective it is, but you know, it's a thing that we have Sorry, pal Off with your head Don't really want any of your nonsense right about now You know, we can have a little look up here And this will take us to the behind the scenes in the theater. Well, there's not much we can do in here net -y just yet. Can somebody from maintenance please varnish the Ocean Kingdom storage room door or else just replace the door entirely? It's made from really old wood and it's starting to crumble. It's not exactly fire safe. So there is the uh, tip off there that we can use to actually get the um, bonus room. But we've already done that, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't believe... Oh, we can do this now, I guess. I guess, why not? Let's raise the curtain. Like so. Might as well lift it all the way up. Now, unfortunately, we have to put a bullet in the back of this mermaid's head but we cannot actually uh, do anything with that just yet so we need to go underground and explore the tunnels below uh, we can't get into crow's office yet because it is electrified so that's okay let's just have a little dig around because this is where we start to peel back the curtain of what's really been going on down here so here is some kind of secret underground lab. Well, it's not really a lab, is it? It's just like an underground scaffolding. Well, I reckon it's about time we look around. Saturday. Root Sat. Well, we're not really sure what that is. So, for now, let's just keep exploring. Northwest. Let's go. I mean, it seems perfectly safe to just jump into this minecart. I mean, we've played our fair share of Donkey Kong. Never went wrong for him, did it? Evening. Get out of here. Right, what do we have in this box? Oh, sweet, merciful. Jesus, we have ourselves a rather nice weapon. Or at least some ammo for a weapon. Alright, let's take a little look in this. Some sort of staff recreation room. Curious. Well, we don't want the rotten banana pill. Now, if you've noticed, we've seen these green tubes all over. And in fact, some of the enemies are actually holding these green tubes as well. Some of the bigger enemies. Hmm. They appear to be full of something. Oh well. It's a notice board. Can't remember the code for the break room security gate. I swear it had a three, a six, and a two, and another six, but I can't remember the order. I know I took the code from an old license plate, but it's gone missing. Well, that's no bloody good now, is it? Honestly. Unbelievable. Looks like the game got interrupted. My first boyfriend taught me how to play pool. He stopped wanting to play after I started winning. Boo! What a loser. All right, well, there's uh, some health there that we can't actually pick up. 
More of this gold ore everywhere. All right, well, let's turn on root access, whatever that means. Oh, evening. Well, you're an ugly motherfucker, aren't you? God damn. We're going to give him a, a good load of the good stuff. Oof, he is not well at all. Luckily, he goes down pretty easy with ample shotgun shells to the face. Ugh. All right. I did deplete a good amount of our shotgun shells. But that was another um, optional boss. There's four optional bosses in the game. He was number three, I believe. I mean, if you're thinking to yourself, gee, the bosses are pretty easy in this game, then, yeah, yeah, you, you, you'd be right. <laughs> What's that? 2663. So there is a nice license plate. Oh, we're going to need that to get out. 2663. Well, we've turned on root access, so I guess it's time to start exploring. Now, we've heard a lot about these roots. We just haven't really seen a lot of what they are or what they do. Ah, there's a gentleman holding one of the roots now. An unfortunate soul. Yeah, he was holding one of the tubes that I was mentioning. Root Friday. Oh. Let's go have a look at Route Friday. Interesting. Oh my. Well, this looks curious. So, that's the route. Interesting. Now, if you remember back to the machine room earlier on in the game, you would see all of the gold that they were smelting was cylinder shaped so they appear they appear to be harvesting the gold from roots coming out of the ground how curious hmm all right well that doesn't seem natural or maybe it is natural. Maybe it's too natural. Tolman's records, July 1988. I finally turned off the excavation machines. Boss didn't give me permission, but I didn't argue. He's obsessed with the pool and the guests. He hasn't answered his phone in days. There was an accident in the park. Boss had to shut the place down. I don't think he cares at all. Ugh, what's this? A large tank. Acid is steadily dripping out of the pipe. The smell is almost unbearable. Well, that doesn't look good at all. Maybe I could use some of that acid. Yes, we can. Let's fill our acid bottle up. We're going to need some of that. I guess I could turn the valve off and stop it from dripping. Yes, I mean, I haven't turned the acid off. So I wasn't really sure what that was going to do. I mean, kind of looks like a load of gooey mess. I wonder if that's regenerating. Is that why? Some sort of... Hmm. Well, it looks like some sort of experimentation, to be honest. Some rather nasty, gribbly experimentation must have been going on down here on these uh, guests, for lack of a better word. Well, we've got some more puddles of goop. Get rid of those guys. So, Route Thursday. Ooh, hello. Let's get rid of you. So, we've got some more shotgun shells there by the look of things. And we absolutely do need some more. Because we've battered our supplies. And there's central. 
I can't get into the pipe. Looks like some kind of high-tech lock. Well, we can push buttons, but there's no way we know how to get in there just yet. No matter. It's a control panel. It's connected to a massive gas pipe. Thick, smelly fumes are flowing out of it. Gas chimney. Manual override. Hmm. I guess we can't do anything with that just yet. Lever doesn't want to move. Total gas pressure must be at exactly 50 for successful manual override. How interesting. Well, there's a computer here, and we so happen to have a disk. Let's see if we can't sort this out. So, we need to set that to 13. We need to set uh, that to 6. The NO2 needs to be 11. And the CO CL2 uh, needs to be 20, I believe. Let's try that. There we go. Excellent. So we've stopped the stinky gas. Now, if you remember, there was one room that we couldn't get into because of the stinky gas. Uh, in the underwater kingdom. Evening. Have that. Well, I don't think he liked it too much. Certainly injured him anyway. Man, this place is really infested with guests, isn't it? But then I suppose we haven't actually been down here yet, so that's to be expected. Oh, hello. Didn't quite see you there. I guess those things are supposed to be destroying the guests or some kind of defense system, but they're not really working, are they? Right, let's have a look at Route Wednesday. Ah, we have a nice little save room. Take the handgun rounds. Well, Mara, I don't know about this place, but... There's something ominous happening down here. So we've got Route Friday, Route Thursday, Route Wednesday. I'm guessing we have a route of every day of the week. Calibration Route 04, Wednesday, full of woe. Yeah, we're not going to start cutting the routes out because let's just say it seems pretty obvious that that's where some of the problem is coming from. Right, let's grab the fuel and let's ride the minecart and go to the southeast and see what we can find. Although it doesn't look like we're going to be finding anything good, that's for sure. Okay. Oh, we've got a bone monster. We haven't seen one of those for a while, have we? see if we can't deal with him. Route Tuesday. That's some actual bullets. We'll have those. Yeah, we're using our grenades a little bit now, but that's fine. That's what they're there for. Oh my. This looks interesting. It's a machine. Ugh, this is gross. What some kind of mach what kind of machine is this anyway? Maybe I could turn it on and see what it does. Well, couldn't hurt now, could it? It's wired up to the machine on the opposite side. That was underwhelming. Maybe if there was something between the clamps. Mm-hmm. Calibration route 03, Tuesday, full of grace. Yeah. There ain't much grace here. Apart from a load of roots that seem to be full of gold, which is interesting. Oi! Dickhead, this way. There you go. Better you than me, my lad. Now, what is in Route Monday? Got some flame for a few. We must actually. Charge complete. Yeah, there we go. We've got a good amount of flamethrower fuel. 
All right, Monday. What do you have for us? The worst day. Ooh, hello. What can I do for you two? Antidote. All right. So, Mara, what do you make of them? What do I make of what? The roots. The big green tubes. Those are the roots? Why are they called that? That's just what Crow named them. What are they made of? The outer shell is mostly copper. However, the inner core is... Marvin chips in. 24 karat gold. Purest there is. Tolman retorts. As you well know, Trumbull. You pious old leech. Shut it, Tolman, you traitorous old cretin. These two don't seem to like each other very much. And all the machinery, the big circular saw, is for... We call it root excavation. Although harvesting might be more accurate term. The roots are cut into shorter segments, which are lifted up into the surface. All this just to extract the gold? Correctamundo. She wasn't talking to you, Trumbull, you heinous old parasite. Bite me, Tolman, you pompous old jackass. Mara's just like, ugh. Mara, you really should get out of here. I can't leave now. I'm so close. Close to what exactly? Do you even know? Listen, I know you want to... Marvin says, don't bother with the pep talk. She doesn't care. Quiet down, Trumbull, you greasy old halfwit. Don't talk to me like that, Tolman, you cantankerous old sea sponge. <laughs> Mara's just having none of it. Mara, you should leave. Mr. Trumbull, what are you doing down here? Hey, kiddo, what's shaking? I'm still looking for Edward Crow. Ah, ain't we all, ain't we all. Why are you looking for him? Ah, well... How should I put this? I just need a little help with something. I, uh... He's on the run from the Brazilian authorities. He came back here to hide. Shut your trap, Tolman, you self-righteous old busybody. Why don't you make me tremble, you bloated old gas bag? <clears throat> so what happened in Brazil? Crow and I were running a little operation, see? It was somewhat... Uh, duplicitous in nature, I guess you could say. You were selling the gold, right? The gold from the roots. Oh, you've been reading up on me, have you? Why go all the way to Brazil to sell the gold? It's like too much of a good thing, you know what I mean? No. Ah, well, you see, the gold we scooped out of the roots, right? It's too pure. And there's too much of it. But why is that a problem? Crow didn't want anybody connecting the gold back to his land. He didn't want the US government looking into where it was coming from. I was telling the story, Tolman, you uppity old bastard. Well, you were doing a shit job of it, Trumbull, you worthless old junkie. So, at least before you got into trouble, you must have been making a lot of money, you and Crow. Yeah, you could say that. Then why come back here at all? Why not just go live, uh, go live on a desert island or something? They went and seized my assets, didn't they? All of it. It's all frozen. Unless I show my face in courts, answer all of their lovely questions. Oh, but let me guess. Crow kept his name off the paperwork, so he gets to keep his share of the money. Is that why you really came back? To make sure Crow gets dragged down with you? Hmm. <laughs> she really sussed you out. Only took her two minutes. Quit your crackling, Tolman, you arrogant old snob. I'll laugh at you all I like, Trumbull. You dopey old clown. So, that's the heart of the story here. They had to use a mine in Brazil to smuggle rocks to this place to grind up to mix and make their own ore to then ship back to the mine in Brazil to sell 
Yeah, that's that's some operation that is. And uh, as we found from notes that we've already read, well, they did a soil purity check and they they were looking up where the rocks were coming from and uh, you know what? It just it just wasn't adding up. So Brazil sees all the assets. And that was the fly in the ointment. But that in itself is fairly fine. That that sure makes sense. But what of these guests then? Where do they fit into the picture? Well, we'll find out. These roots are obviously a little bit more than just, well, natural roots. They're obviously metallic. They're not natural. Or should I say they're not organic in nature? There's a sign. Calibration Route 01, Sunday, preserved for posterity. Mm-hmm. We can't have any more of those just yet. It shows the central underground area. We now have our map. Some kind of machine. I think it's a generator. It looks ancient. I wonder what's powering it. Well, let's turn it off. Uh, actually, I have no idea how to turn it off. Looks fragile, though. Maybe I can just destroy it. Well, Mara, sounds like a good idea. Let's waste that. We've got one more little place to look at in here. So we've got our acid. We found the root excavation area. And we've discovered the little scheme that's been going on. And it's certainly something a little bit different. That's for sure. Oh, we'll grab the nade. And there is Root Saturday. It's a wooden model. The top layer looks like it's supposed to be grass. The bottom layer looks like more like soil or rocks. So there's the... Uh, that's what Crow must have found. He must have found these on his land. And there's the roots going all the way down, coming out of the pool. And it looks like, well, that'll be telling. Okay, let's get out of here. I actually thought the story in this game was very good. Very, very good. Anyway, let's go back to Northwest. We've seen the roots. We've seen what's going on around here. We have half of the picture filled in. Now, we just need the rest of the answers. And we're still missing one Edward Crow. So there's the break room we've already been in. So, let's head back up to Northwest. Let's get out of here. And we're almost out of time again. I mean, we actually are out of time. Oh, man. This doesn't look good at all, does it? He's done. Just what we needed. Just when we needed it. That's a fly in the ointment. Right, that's quite enough of him. Now, can we find a save room? It is interesting that we're playing a survival horror game that just gives us everything we need when we need it. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Ooh. I mean, it's nice not to get into a situation where you're, you know, tr proper boned. However, it does seem a little bit, um, you know, 
I guess, convenient, I suppose, that there are always things that we need. Now, what we need to do, really, we need to go to the theatre, but we're out of time. Right, I'm going to end this video here, guys. Uh, I'm going to go back and save the game. When we come back, uh, we will continue to the theatre. And that's obviously the roots. Mm-hmm. Right, was there anything in here? Did we leave anything in here? Was there, like, any ammo or... Uh, doesn't look like it. Well, that's unfortunate. Right, anyway, guys. Till next time.